has been boosted because of impeachment at all. We are a young country. We have got our own problems. Problems of extreme poverty. Our people now are wallowing in poverty. They cannot get a meal. Those of us who happen to be in a certain class are lucky. People like Hamino can talk about going at all. Our people are in a very poor kind of situation. We have problems of tribalism. We are still a tribal society. We cannot pretend that uh, we are more sophisticated at all. We have problems to do with the conservation. We have got problems around ourselves. Our neighbors are not doing very well. Somalia, Sudan, and etc. They are not doing very well at all. I am submitting to you very specifically. These are factors that you cannot afford to ignore. You cannot afford to ignore them at all. And it would be a disaster. It would be devastating for this court to proceed and lift the conservatory order and bring in Professor Kindiki as deputy president. I don't know very much about Professor Kindiki. I have nothing against him. He has never wronged me. And I don't think that he has ever said anything anywhere against me at all. I have nothing against him. But all that we are very much interested in at the moment is to make sure that we have one country. May I remind you, the court, the honorable court, very respectfully. Whenever there has been a great departure from the constitution of Kenya or from constitutional jurisprudence, there has been a problem around. In 1980s, 81 and 82. That's a time when a lot of people were being thrown into detentions. People like uh, Paul Mwite were hiding somewhere else in embassies, I think in embassies, offices and so on, because of what was happening there to take a cover. I was personally in detention at that time. That is the time when we had a coup in the country. In the year, I think it's 2007, we more or less had also chaos in the country. The point I'm trying to make to you, you are my honorable judges, what we have before you, a conservatory order, may look a very small matter, but it's a very big issue when it is looked at and is examined, analyzed in relation to the present position in which we have in Kenya. If I may say so, and this, I wish the Attorney General was here, I would tell him very, I would tell her very bluntly. Those who want the Deputy President out, let us assume he's kicked, he's kicked out. There will be the same people who will come and say, President, you must go. President Ruto, you must go. There will be the same people who will say that. That will be opening chaos in the country. My lords, these are factors that you cannot ignore. In American jurisprudence, they never ignored that at all. When Clinton was charged, with the offense of moving around with the, uh, Len Whiskey and other women. He had a, 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 quite a, a number of women that he was having sexual relationship with and so on. Somehow, as the state continued to adduce evidence, the Americans found that Clinton's becoming more and more popular in the country. Those who wanted to see Clinton impeached had to abandon the idea of impeachment because he was becoming 
a very, very popular president. And moving him out of the position of president would have brought chaos and misunderstanding in the country. So my lords, I'm saying to you again very respectfully that please do not try to lift the uh, well, they give to the conservative order as my land friends are asking for. I hope my little girls have brought my. I My lady and my lords, the law relating to impeachment is no longer, as I said, a UK affair or an American affair. It touches on the rule of law in a country. It touches on human rights in a country. It touches on democracy in a country. It touches on supremacy of the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, leadership and integrity, separation of power, and the role of the judiciary. Leadership and integrity, separation of power, and the role of the judiciary in administration of justice. My Lord, may I, with your permission, read to you one provision from my section This is, uh, refer to Article 150, page 492 a commentary on the Constitution of Kenya, page 150. May I read it to you, 492. This is a commentary in the Kenyan Constitution by our jurists here. And this is what they say. They say some able words which are an you know, eye opener. May I read it with your permission? This article, that is the article that is being referred to, is Article 150, dealing with the removal of deputy president. This article, which sets out the situation that a deputy president can be removed, can be removed, protects the deputy president from arbitrary decisions, from arbitrary decisions, what has been taken here is an arbitrary decision by a parliament, by the Senate, and that should not be taken by the court at all. Arbitrary decision of the president in the field constitution. If I may pause here, there is a mention of the president. A lot of problems we've had in this country have been caused by the executive, have been caused by the president. We normally have found ourselves in this hostile area because of the acts and behavior of the president. We must tell it as it is. President Moy caused detentions. He acted rashly by putting people in detention. We have had extrajudicial killings because of the presidency. We have had some other ills because of the presidency. May I continue, please? In the repeal constitution, the vice president could be removed very easily 
merely by the instruction of the president. That is true. That's how my great friend and my great client, Teramoki Oginga Odinga, found himself having to resign because of what was happening. Karanja, Professor Karanja, faced a similar kind of problem. He was kicked out by the president, by the roadside. The vice president could therefore have been said to be at the mercy of the president who appointed and dismissed them at will. The current state of affairs enables the deputy president to sit a heartbeat away from the presidency, yet enjoy constitutional protection against whimsical section of the president. Let us not forget those wise words, my lords and my lady. I'm inviting you very, very respectfully. Read those words, page 492, and if it becomes necessary, incorporate them even in your own ruling. What is going on now is that the deputy president and the president